again, guys. Obviously filming this like right after my precious review because um, I was like even gonna change my clothes and pretend this was a different day, but not going to. It's a fucking nice day, so I'm gonna stay out here and film again. I got tagged by Amber for the YouTube survey 2011. Maybe I should answer the question, but I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, so the first one is um, describe your first kiss. Funny because the person I had my first kiss with watches my YouTube videos and really likes them and he's such an asshole. I had my first kiss when I was 14. It was my freshman year of high school and that's my phone. First guy I ever dated. We had this whole situation where um, the day before his best friend thought that he said that I like I love you to my boyfriend at the time and like I'm pretty sure I didn't but I don't know it was like kind of awkward because like <laughs> He didn't say it back to me, and like I don't think even think I said it to begin with. I was like about to leave for the night, and uh, I was at his door, and he like hugged me, and he's just like, "I love you too," and then he kissed me, and I was like, I like pulled away really quickly, and I'm like, I have to go now, and I like ran to the front of the house and like just sat there waiting for my ride home. It was so awkward and embarrassing, and, like I, like I don't know, I was like so awkward about it because like I wasn't expecting it to happen, and like. The fact that I had a boyfriend at all was like amazing to me because like I thought I was like the ugliest person ever in high school. Like, then I got kissed by some guy and I was like, oh my god, like this is too much for my brain to handle. My teenage emotional brain to handle. Oh, and then a year later the guy ruined my life. So, awesome. Um, next question is my most expensive item of casual clothing. I'd say it's between two things. It's this one, which is from American Apparel. It's a high-waisted skirt. I think it was like 40 or 50 dollars. I'm really not one to shop in American Apparel, but like I love these high-waisted skirts. They're so comfortable. And like, look at that print, that's awesome. And the other one is, um, these boots I bought, and they're covered in cat hair, which I'm not happy about. Um, I bought these when I was in Paris, one of my last days there, so I was so determined to buy something. So I'm like, I'm buying these boots, even though they were like 170 euros or something, which is a lot in the U.S. if you don't know. So, I think they're pretty cool. I've only worn them like once. But I do love them a lot. I'm I'm a huge boot person. Love boots. First job I ever wanted. The very first jobs I wanted to do is be a professional violinist and a veterinarian at the same time. Don't know how I would have worked that, but that's what I wanted to do. I would like <laughs> it's so funny, like you know after baseball games and you see those people like playing instruments outside of the game, like trying to earn money, like I'm like, I wanna do that. That sounds great. Because that apparently that was professional to me, so that's what I wanted to do, and I gave up violin in fourth grade, by the way. I wasn't very good, and I hated practicing, so. And I decided not to be a veterinarian because I, the idea of putting down animal and doing surgery is like, no, I couldn't do that. That sounds terrible. Well, my group of friends in high school, I was kind of with the outcasts, I would say, like, the faux punk rockers mixed with the kind of nerd kids. It was a really odd group of people. It was mostly guys. Like, I get along with guys much better. So, I mean, it was a, it was a decent group of people. Like, everyone hated me, though. Like, the popular kids, like, the, the goth kids, the art kids, they hated me for some reason. Because apparently the guy I dated my freshman year, I wasn't aware of this, but apparently he wasn't popular and from the middle school he came from. So I got attached to that really early on, and people just despise me. I just had my little group of friends, like, <laughs> I think it's so funny that people automatically were like, oh, high school, but like, I like my group of friends now, like, so much better. I met them all at Comic Con, and they were just the best people ever, so, yeah, I'd rather talk about them. I'm not going to. What I would name my kid, a lot of people were saying, like, it's, this is kind of a funny situation for me, because, um, everyone's like, oh, I'd want to name it something really crazy and unique. And actually, the reason I have such a common name and my brothers and sisters all have very common names is because my dad's name is Jovan, the Serbian name, and he got made fun of so much in uh, high school and everything, so, like, the very last thing he wanted is for any of us to get made fun of because of our names. So what he did was, like, made sure we all had very common names, so that's, although actually my parents didn't name me, like, my name had nothing to do with that. I've never liked my name. I hate how common my name is. I wish I got a cool Serbian name, but I didn't. I got a name that my sister named me from some girl in a movie, so lucky me. Yeah, I like, I'd love to name my kids something crazy. Like, I love the name. This is, you've probably never heard this name before because it's so underground. But it's, <laughs> for a girl, I really like the name Ariosh, which sounds really weird. But if you played Drinking Guard, you would know the character and how terrible it is that I'm naming a child after that. But I also like, I kind of like hip hippie names too, like I love the name Sky. I also really like French names, like I really adore the name Segolen Soleil. I really like those names, I think they're so pretty. For a boy, I actually really like the name Isaac. And I don't know, I just I just think it sounds nice. I know nobody agrees with me on this. I don't know what else I would name a guy. Not big on the Irish names like everyone else seems to be, but 
And if I'm like, who the fuck is texting me? Jesus Christ. Oh, it's my boyfriend.